This is absolutely a wonderful time to be a scientist in space biology. I can tell you the anticipation of the run-up to full utilization of station is, um, is a big deal for us in science. It's absolutely huge. NASA and its international partners are looking forward to future scientific opportunities aboard the International Space Station. Now that the administration's fiscal year 2011 budget request calls for extending station operations to at least 2020. This expanded and full utilization of the International Space Station will include key research in things like biotechnology, physiology, life sciences, and physical sciences, and ensure that we can complete multiple investigations and use the space station as a real laboratory, just as we would use a laboratory on Earth. With its construction phase almost complete, the station's six-member international crew of astronauts and cosmonauts will be increasingly busy conducting and or tending to an array of science and Earth observation studies including experiments to help develop pharmaceuticals for fighting disease and human affliction, such as a vaccine against deadly salmonella bacteria, a drug to treat prostate cancer, and gene research in the battle against AIDS. I think the demand is uh, enormous in, in Europe. Yeah, we have still about 100 uh, IS experiments to do in the pool, and we solicited last year research announcements in all the range, life and physical science, uh, for the life science even at international level with all uh, the ISS partners and the uh, response was very good. The optimism for the future of the orbiting complex as the world's laboratory in microgravity was expressed during an ISS science briefing held February 5th at NASA's Kennedy Space Center. The briefing precedes Sunday's scheduled liftoff of Space Shuttle Endeavour from Kennedy's launch pad 39A to the International Space Station Sunday, February 7th at 4.39 a.m. Eastern Standard Time.